Hey everybody, Logan here. Today's little bit of news is something that I never thought I'd see. Something that I don't think anybody really cared about until now that people are going, wow. Saw it on a few different news sources and once I saw this article I decided to go with the uh, Nintendo Life because, well, I like Nintendo Life. So I also saw it on uh, Engadget this morning as well. Apparently it's being reported in multiple places. So let's take a look at the article. Uh, Goosh. It's official. Sega's buying Angry Birds maker Rovio. They're the ones, well, yeah, who've developed the game for ages. But why? Now, I'm going to tell you, I didn't read it. I wanted to do a reaction. Because I want to see their reasoning for buying Rovio. I get Angry Birds was very popular in its heyday. But that was that was almost ten years ago when it was at its peak. So let's uh, let's take a look to see what it says. Flipping the bird for over three quarters of a billion dollars. Uh, okay, so there's now there's now an update. Let's let's just continue. Following rumors that Sega was penning a deal to purchase Finnish firm Rovio. The maker of Angry Birds, the Japanese company, has made it official. A statement released on its website, Japanese only at present, confirms that the deal is signed following an offer made by Sega through its European branch. The total purchase price stands at 706 million, uh, I think that's euros, which is north of 775 million uh, dollars. Oh, wow. At the current exchange rate, but less than the rumored 1 billion figure doing the rounds online over the weekend. Sega calls the acquisition a global expansion of the consumer business through enhancement of mobile gaming capabilities. In an official tweet with the takeover described as friendly and that Rovio's board of directors has agreed to and has expressed support towards the tender offer. There's a tweet from, I guess, that's Sega Japan. <clears throat> yep. Sega's paying $9, well, 9 euros and 9.25 euros per share, and Rovio shares are at 7.78 euros. I'm pretty sure that's yours. At the closing of NAS NASDAQ Helsinki on four, uh, April 14th, Sega discusses in the document its intention to leverage Rovio's mobile games known as known how with an aim to bring sega's current and new titles to the global uh mobile gaming market there are also plans for rovio to expand into non-mobile market well they already have they've made console games they've put uh angry birds on 3ds and other things the acquisition is expected to close in the second quarter of fiscal year 24-23 and is contingent on the completion of reviews under applicable antitrust laws and other customary conditions, according to Sega's statement. Rovio, formerly Rovio Entertainment OYJ, released Angry Birds back in 2009 and conquered the mobile market with an IP that spawned multiple entries, Star Wars crossovers, crossovers and even its own movie. I forgot about that movie. So, all right. But why? It sounds like a bunch of fluff. Like they did it, oh, because they're good at making mobile games and we're not kind of thing. That's what it sounds like. What's the what's the truth? See, that 3DS right there. Also available on Wii, Wii U, Wii, Xbox 360, and PS3. Uh, 2012 is when it came out on the 3DS. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's going to have an impact on anything? I don't. And if it's going to be an impact on anything, we're not going to see it. It's their mobile market, games that'll just have the Sega logo on it. We're going to see Sega on Angry Birds. We might see them come back to consoles. The only thing I can think of is we might see the Angry Birds make appearances in other Sega or Sonic titles. Imagine that. He just, wee, right at Sonic. 
Dr. Eggman now drops birds. Or are the birds going to align with Sonic and the pigs with the Eggman? I think that would be the case. I think that would definitely be the case. Because it, we, we know it's it's Sonic versus Angry Birds now. Oh, I just realized. Uh, my Shadow the Hedgehog beanie. Well, I'm only wearing this because it's, it's bad hair day. I think I'm going to go get a haircut today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this a uh, little bit of news coming at you today. Uh, if anything goes, I might stream again. If you guys know what I was streaming, you know what I was streaming. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit that like button. And the notifications so you know. The reason I can't say it is because it's a game that's released a week early. Uh, I got an early copy. Not leaked. I actually went to a store and bought it. number of stores apparently are selling it. I bought it. And I've been streaming it. I streamed it twice yesterday. Now I'm doing it in short burst, one hour burst, and then removing the video just so I don't get hit with any copyright claims because I don't need that. So yeah, did that with Sonic. Sega. That's why I'm Nintendo shirt. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I'll stop jabbering on. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Follow us uh, on our socials, of course. And again, remember to tune in for our Ready to Start podcast. We got episode four coming this week with special guest Jay Drunk3PO from Geeks and Gamers. So again, notification bell, turn it on. Thank you guys so much. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. I'm just enjoying the music. <laughs>